Do you know what to do after getting paid? The first step is budgeting and financial planning. Picture this, your paycheck lands in your bank account and you're thrilled, but without a plan, that joy could quickly turn into stress as you wonder where all the money went. That's where budgeting comes in. Budgeting is like a financial GPS, guiding you in the right direction so you don't lose your way. Now, how do you create a budget? Start by tracking your income and expenses. Write down everything you earn and spend in a month. This gives you a clear picture of your financial situation and helps you make informed decisions. Once you've got your numbers, it's time to allocate your funds. There are different budgeting methods you can use, each with its own merits. One popular method is the 50-30-20 rule. Here, you allocate 50% of your income to needs, 30% to wants, and 20% to savings or debt repayment. Another method is zero-based budgeting, where you assign every dollar a job. That means your income minus your expenses equals zero. This method can be a bit more time-consuming, but it gives you more control over your money. Sticking to a budget can be challenging, but there are tools and apps designed to make it easier. Apps such as Mint or YNAB can help you track your spending, set goals, and even alert you when you're about to overspend. They can be real game-changers in your financial journey. Remember, budgeting is not about depriving yourself. It's about understanding your financial landscape and creating a path that leads you to your goals. It's about making your money work for you, not the other way around. So, the next time your paycheck comes in, take a moment to plan. Allocate your funds, track your expenses, and make every dollar count. And don't forget to use the tools at your disposal to make the process easier. Remember, a good budget is your roadmap to financial success. The second step after getting paid is to focus on saving and investing. Now let's break this down. When we talk about saving, we mean setting aside a portion of your paycheck. This isn't money for spending, but money for keeping. It's a safety net, a cushion for those unexpected life moments. Think of it as your very own financial superhero, ready to swoop in when you need it most. The beauty of saving is that it doesn't have to be a massive amount. Even a small percentage of your paycheck can slowly build up over time. And the best part? You're in control. You decide how much you want to save. Now let's talk about the benefits of having an emergency fund and long-term savings goals. An emergency fund is like your financial first aid kit. It's there to help you cover unexpected expenses like a car repair or a sudden medical bill. Long-term savings, on the other hand, are all about your future. This could be anything from a dream vacation to a down payment on a house. Next up, we have investing. Unlike saving, which is all about preserving your money, investing is about growing it. There's a whole world of investment options out there from stocks and bonds to mutual funds and retirement accounts. Each comes with its own potential rewards and risks, so it's important to do your research and consider your personal financial goals. And finally, let's talk about automation. It's the 21st century after all. Automating your savings and investments can take the stress out of managing your money. Many banks offer automatic transfer services, and there are numerous apps and online platforms that can make the process even easier. Remember, the goal here is not to become a millionaire overnight. It's about building a solid financial foundation, one paycheck at a time. Saving and investing now will secure your financial future. Once you've covered budgeting and saving, it's time to move on to debt management. Imagine your paycheck as a pie. You've divided it into slices for budgeting and saving, and now it's time to cut a slice for your debts. Managing your debt is a critical part of your payday routine. It's not the most exciting slice of the pie, but it's one that can help you taste sweet financial freedom sooner. Think of debt like a leak in a boat. If you ignore it, you're going to sink. But if you address it, you can patch it up and keep sailing. The paycheck you've just received? That's your patch. Each time you get paid, allocate a portion of your income to paying off your debt. Not only does this help you reduce your outstanding balances, but it also decreases the amount of interest you'll pay over time. Now let's talk about strategies for paying off your debt. You've got options here, like the debt snowball method, where you start by paying off your smallest debt first while maintaining minimum payments on others. As each debt is paid off, 
you roll what you were paying onto the next smallest balance, creating a snowball effect. Alternatively, there's the avalanche method. This strategy focuses on paying off the debt with the highest interest rate first, while still making minimum payments on your other debts. Once that debt is paid off, you move on to the one with the next highest interest rate. It's like an avalanche, gradually gaining momentum and taking out debts in its path. But what about avoiding more debt? The best way is to live within your means, stick to your budget, and save for emergencies. Remember, your credit card isn't free money, it's a tool. Use it responsibly. And finally, don't be afraid to negotiate lower interest rates or consolidate your debt. Many credit card companies and lenders are willing to work with you if you're proactive. Managing your debt effectively is crucial for financial freedom. So keep that in mind the next time you receive your paycheck. The slice of the pie dedicated to debt may not be the tastiest, but it's definitely one of the most satisfying. Last but not least, it's time for rewards and treats. Now you might be thinking, wait a minute, I've already budgeted, saved and paid off my debts. What's left for me? Well, that's where the treats come in. It's crucial to understand that rewarding yourself for your hard work isn't just a frivolous luxury. It's a vital part of maintaining motivation and fostering a positive relationship with your finances. After all, money is not just about survival. It's also about enjoyment. Imagine allocating a small portion of your paycheck towards fun activities or treats. This is not about splurging or going overboard. It's about acknowledging your efforts and giving yourself a pat on the back in a tangible way. You've worked hard for your money, so it's only fair that you get to enjoy a slice of it, right? Now let's talk about some affordable ways to treat yourself. This could be as simple as a nice meal out at your favorite restaurant or perhaps that book you've been eyeing for a while. Maybe it's a day trip to a nearby town or city you've always wanted to explore. The key is finding something that brings you joy and that fits comfortably within your budget. Remember, the goal here is not to drain your bank account or rack up credit card debt. It's about learning to enjoy your money responsibly. You might think of it as the dessert after a well-balanced financial meal, a little treat to sweeten the deal, if you will. So next time you receive your paycheck, don't forget to set aside a little something for yourself, a reward to celebrate your hard work, your discipline, and your dedication to managing your finances. Because at the end of the day, what's the point of working so hard if you don't get to enjoy the fruits of your labor? Remember, rewarding yourself is part of a balanced financial lifestyle. So go ahead, treat yourself, you've earned it. So what did we learn today about what to do after getting paid? Let's take a quick jog down memory lane. First off, we talked about budgeting and financial planning. We stressed the importance of setting up a budget after each payday. We shared tips on how to create a solid budget and stick to it. And we highlighted different budgeting methods like the 50-30-20 rule and zero-based budgeting. We also recommended some useful tools and apps that can assist you in managing your budget effectively. Then, we moved on to saving and investing. We discussed the value of allocating a portion of your paycheck towards savings and investments. And we talked about the benefits of having an emergency fund and setting long-term savings goals. We examined various investment options, from stocks and bonds to mutual funds and retirement accounts. We also gave you tips on how to automate your savings and investments to make the process easier. Next up was debt management. We spoke about the necessity to manage your debt as soon as you receive your paycheck. We shared strategies for paying off your debt, like the debt snowball or avalanche method. We discussed ways to avoid accumulating more debt and offered advice on negotiating lower interest rates or consolidating your debt. Lastly, we touched upon rewards and treats. We emphasized the importance of rewarding yourself for your hard work. We suggested setting aside a portion of your paycheck for fun activities or treats that bring you joy. We shared ideas for affordable ways to treat yourself, from enjoying a nice meal out to buying something you've been wanting. We reminded you to enjoy your money responsibly and not to overspend on treats. In short, a good payday routine involves budgeting, saving and investing, managing debt, and allowing for some rewards and treats. 
All these steps are crucial for financial success and well-being. Following these four steps after every payday will set you on the path to financial success. Thank you for tuning in, and remember, your financial future is in your hands.